A quadrilateral is a closed two-dimensional shape which has four sides and four vertices or four corners. The sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Now some of our quadrilaterals have special properties. Those are the ones that we are going to discuss now. A parallelogram is a special quadrilateral in which the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. So, in your diagram, you can see that the opposite sides are parallel to each other and are also equal to each other. The opposite angles are equal. So you can see it's drawn that the opposite angles are formed where the vertices meet. So at the corners, the opposite angles are equal to each other. The diagonals, which are drawn from one vertex to the opposite vertex, bisect each other. These are special parallelograms, which have all the properties of a parallelogram and then some additional properties as well. First, let's look at a special parallelogram called a rhombus. So in a rhombus, just like a parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and both pairs of opposite sides are equal in length. But in addition to that, the adjacent sides are equal to each other as well. So in a rhombus, the adjacent sides are equal to each other. So that is the same property of a parallelogram. Once again, the diagonals bisect each other, but a special property of a rhombus that's not a property of a parallelogram is the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. You will also see that the diagonals bisect both pairs of the opposite angles. So that means your diagonal will cut the opposite angles into two equal pieces or into two equal angles. A special kind of rhombus is called a square where the four interior angles are equal to 90 degrees. But remember, a square is also a parallelogram. Therefore, it retains all the properties of a parallelogram as well. So, you're going to have that your opposite sides are parallel to each other. But because we know that a square is a rhombus, we know that the adjacent sides are going to be equal to each other, and we know that the diagonals will intersect at 90 degrees, and that the diagonals will bisect the interior angles. Another special type of quadrilateral, which is also a parallelogram, is a rectangle. So a rectangle has the following properties. Once again, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel because obviously a rectangle is a parallelogram. We also know that the opposite sides in a rectangle are equal to each other. Both pair of opposite angles are equal, and we know that in a rectangle, all the interior angles are equal to 90 degrees. The diagonals bisect each other, and a special property of a rectangle is that the diagonals, the entire diagonal, if we call it A, B, C, D, the entire diagonal A, C, will be equal in length, to the other diagonal BD. All right, so what you saw with the square, the rhombus, and the rectangle is that they were all parallelograms and they each had additional special properties. Let's look at some other special quadrilaterals which are not parallelograms. So, a kite is one example. A kite is a flat shape with four straight sides. It has two pairs of equal adjacent sides. So you can see that is drawn in your diagram. The adjacent sides are equal to each other. The diagonal between the equal sides bisects the other diagonal. One pair of opposite angles are equal. The angles between unequal sides. So these two angles here that are between your equal sides are equal to each other. The diagonal between the equal sides bisects the interior angles and is the axis of symmetry. 
The diagonals intersect at 90 degrees. Another special quadrilateral that you get that is also not a parallelogram is a trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral in which just one pair of opposite sides is parallel. A special type of trapezium you will come across is called an isosceles trapezium. And in an isosceles trapezium, you have that one pair of opposite sides that are equal to each other. And therefore, we get those angles opposite, those equal sides also equal to each other.